Okay, I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, use Google Docs. I know that uh, this, this is something that we'll be doing a little more as the semester goes along as a way to share uh, information with one another. And so I thought I would show you uh, in a sort of live video format um, how you go about using it. Uh, it's pretty simple. You start with signing in. So you know, my computer just saves my information, so I don't have to type in, you know, my username and password and things. It just saves that. Um, so, but, you know, if you haven't done that, you need to, you know, fill that in and then click to sign in. And then it takes you back to your regular Google page uh, where it gives you a bunch of different sorts of options. And one of those options is to click on My Account up here in the corner. And so if you click there, it will take you um, to a page that you know says you know your Google account here um, gives information about things um, and lets you you know edit that information. There's also this section here for my services, right? Um, and you're allowed to edit that as well. If you notice, I've got a whole bunch of different services that I've been using. Um, you know, you don't, you may not have as many, so uh, you know that's fine. If something that uh, you know that's on here looks interesting to you all you do is click the edit you know um, and uh, when you do that um, it will bring up all the different kinds of things that you can possibly include and at the bottom it says that as well let's try something new and you know if you click there it will show you all the different kinds of things that you can you know use uh, through g your Google account and it's pretty powerful there are a lot of things that are that are you know fairly interesting to use and uh, so if you don't see for instance um, on your account Google Docs then you would just click here and it would add it to your account okay. I'm just gonna go back to the page before you know. so uh, as again if you haven't added Google Docs then you would do it the way I was just showing you um, but once you do have it here under your services you click on it and it's going to take you to a page with all of your Google documents um, now if you're new to Google documents then that may be you know very few documents that show up um, uh, I have uh, you know sort of a lot um, I guess 175 right now it looks like according to this bottom thing um, but so there's, uh, you know, you'll get this list of different documents that you have. Um, there are ways to, you know, create folders and put items into your folders, um, that sort of thing. So, uh, whoops, sorry, if that, I don't know if that uh, interrupted you, that little sound or not. But um, anyway, uh, there are ways to organize your information and things like that as well. Um, but so if you want to edit a document that you already have, you just click on it. Like here's our contact information sheet. Um, and you edit it just like you would, you know, a Microsoft Word document. If I want to make this bigger, I can highlight it and come over here. I think this is the text size one. Yeah. And, you know, make it bigger. When I'm done, I click Save. And... Shazam, it's done. Um, now, I've, you know, I used this document. I gave, I gave you access to this document as well by using this uh, share tab. And so it shows here this document is currently shared and shows all the people that it's shared with right now. Um, if I want to add somebody else, I just click over here and type in um, an email address and... Uh, I can add a person as a collaborator, which means they can do like you do, go in and change the file, um, edit it, or just as a viewer so they can go in and look at it. Um, so I just input an email, an email address and click on this invite collaborators. Okay. So um, that's pretty simple. If I'm done with that, I go back to editing the document. Um, if I want to make this public, I click on publish and it says it is published and it's available at this document ID. Just because it's published, I mean, it's it's pretty unlikely that anybody's ever going to look at this document. Um, 
the only people that would get it are the ones who find this address. Um, Google doesn't crawl its documents and put them into search engines and things like that. So, um, so it's just a uh, you know it's a way for us to sh to all have access to this document. Um, so that's uh, that's the share and the publish tabs. And again, I'm going to go back to editing here. Um, over here, while you are editing, um, you know, if I was going to type something else at the bottom here, I might um, put, you know, additional information or something. Um, and maybe it, I want to insert something here, like, um, you know, a picture or a link or a comment or a table or a bookmark or a separator a special character or a header or a footer. I can do any of those things through that insert menu. Um, if I click up here on the title, it brings it up and lets me um, and lets me edit the title if I want to. I think it's okay the way it is, so I don't need to, but that's always there when you put your uh, mouse up there. It turns pink like that and lets you, lets you change it. Um, there is a tab here for revisions. And you know, it shows that this is this document has been revised 43 times, which is pretty remarkable, right? Um, and so, um, most of them by me, but a couple of by one of our uh, class members. Um, so there's, you know, it, it shows what the changes are in things, and you know, if you wanted to, uh, it could, you know, you can compare two versions, like the first version, and the current version um, and click on compare and a page will come up and show you um, the things that have been added or, or deleted from it. Um, so that's uh, you know a way to um, a way to sort of understand the kinds of things that are happening and you see that it, it identifies you know the stuff that's in this sort of uh, I don't even know what color to call that. <laughs> tannish color or whatever is me uh, the stuff that is in in blue is not me so I mean that's you know it's um, a way to sort of look at that and you can go back to the revision history um, and uh, and then um, you know anytime and look at a particular um, right because this is just the two that I was looking at um, and uh, you know, you can click on any of those revisions, and you can see, um, if I clicked on this one, it would show exactly what, um, it would show me what the document looked at, like at revision 36. Okay. So, go back to the editing mode here. I'm just going to click... Um, save and close and it's going to close up the document. Um, two other things that I thought I would show you with this is that uh, you can always create a new document just by choosing new and then start typing away. Um, documents from, I mean, the things here in Google Documents um, can uh, can always be um, Upload or I mean can be downloaded in a variety of formats. You can download a, a document. If we go back into this one again and look at it, um, you can see under the file menu that there are ways to um, to you know you save this, but you can also export it as HTML. That's a web page. Export as RTF, which is something that will go into almost any word processor. Export as a Word document, as an open office document, as a portable document format PDF, as plain text. So, um, so it's a fairly flexible, um, it's a fairly flexible system, and uh, you can also uh, click on the upload button here and um, find a new file um, that will that it will bring up, and you can and you can edit. Um, you can also, if there's a, if you have a web page or something like that that you want to, um, you know, edit yourself because you think it looks cool or something and you, uh, but you want to put your own information into it, you can enter the web address and it will pull that page in and let you uh, change it around and save it as your own document. 
So that's a little guide to Google Documents, um, and uh, I hope that that was helpful.